Amid a somber mode, the Holy Family Basilica was filled to capacity by mourners from all walks of life who turned up for the funeral service of the former Anglican Church of Kenya Archbishop, the late David Gitari. And one common denominator among all speakers led by his children was the role he played in opening up the country's democratic space. I was proud of him as my dad and for everything that he did for this country and that he was also be able to share this with so many people in this country. Whether I was 20, 30 or 40, dad always used to call us boys. Retired PCA moderator Timothy Njoya and the former National Council of Churches of Kenya Secretary General Mutava Masimi also had kind words for the man who on several occasions found himself at crossroads with Kanu regime. The tarry reigned with God in righteousness and shall continue to reign with him eternally. I would mention the values that David brought us to respect. The value of service, the value of unity, the value of citizenship, and the value of a re reconciled Society. But for some, Gitarre's resolving fight for better governance in the country did not come without a cost. On the night of 21st April 1989, Gitarre was attacked by more than 40 hired goons at his family home in Philadelphia, the Fathers. The current ACK Archbishop Eliudwe Bohala paid glowing tribute to Gitarre, saying he will fondly be remembered for the exemplary leadership skills he offered to the church during his he reign. Draw Christians from around the world to work with him. He established St. Andrews, as you have heard. He started for us the CCS, which we now call Anglican Development Service, that has covered the whole of this country. And we are working hard to ensure that it is indeed a national institution of support. Gitare was elected Tadak Bishop of the Anglican Church of Kenya in 1997 and enthroned on January 12th, a position he held until his retirement in September 2002. He will be laid to rest tomorrow at his home in Kerugoya, Kirinyaga County. Beatrice Gatonye, reporting for Channel One News Hour.